Hi students, so after following with this lectures, we have the rectifiers to go in in detail. So in the rectifiers, as I told you, it converts your AC signal to a DC, AC to DC. It's just a simple reference of saying it converts from AC to DC. And this is uncontrolled. So what I mean by uncontrolled? So uncontrolled refers to uh, the output is not controlled by us it means that if i apply an input voltage in ac as 100 volt i convert it to a dc i get dc voltage output as dc voltage the value will be more or less will get a fixed value you get a more or less approximately or less than or equal to 100 volt I'm just saying an assumption where you cannot control that device the diode cannot be controlled so that you can get some value between 0 to 100 or you can not even that is you cannot either step up or step down so you cannot control it so whatever the value you give in AC the magnitude will come as a DC component to your outside that is a, uh, the output level okay so it's an uncontrolled that's just we uh, can able to uh, convert from ac to dc that's it we cannot have a specific value of output by giving 100 suppose if you say i want i have given you 100 volt ac i'm asking you 50 volt uh, dc so in that case directly i cannot use my 100 volt ac and then convert to a dc then i can step down so in using a diode we cannot uh, have any control over it so it is an uncontrolled rectifiers or sometimes it is also called as it is an uncontrolled rectifiers so rectifier is converting from ac to dc and uncontrolled rectifiers means that you cannot that is output cannot be controlled so whatever, whatever the input you give that converts and give it to you in dc the value the magnitude cannot be changed that is the main thing okay so this have there are two types in this uh, probably um, i can exp i can tell you we have uh, three types instead Perhaps the first type is half wave rectifier. The second type is full wave rectifier. And the last type is full bridge rectifier. So the bridge rectifier is a special topic. It is very similar to a fill wave rectifier, but uh, there are, there are some changes that we will understand when we go in detail. So now we'll start with the half wave rectifier. So it's half wave rectifier. Okay, so by the name half wave rectifier, we can say rectification, the process which I am naming it as rectification, which is nothing but converting AC to DC that takes place, friction takes place only for one half cycle of input AC so I told you we have an AC signal like this and for this AC signal if only one half of the signal can be utilized to convert to uh, the DC then it may then it means that we have a half wave rectifier so out of this full wave the half wave is rectified that is the meaning the half wave is rectified so let us now draw or now see a detailed how this half uh, the construction of this half wave rectifier uh, look like and uh, followed by we will see how its operation look like okay so yes I'll draw this diagram. So, 
circuit diagram. So I'm going to draw the circuit diagram. So the for so for I say rectifier, I should have an input AC. So let me first initially step down this AC. See this trans. So I'm drawing a transformer here. So see, uh, it is not like I have to use this transformer, but you will understand why I'm using it in the later stage. Okay. So uh, it's a kind of a step down transformer. Let me understand. This is a uh, step down transformer. It's a step down transformer. Now uh, what I have is I have a load somewhere here. A load of resistance, a resistive load. I'm taking a resistive load and I'm connecting and in this terminal between this input and an output so i'll explain then i'll tell come back to you okay so this is your input side so this is your input side where you will have one dac and here this is your output side where you will should get a dc so this is this terminal is the dc terminal i will take it as a terminal and b terminal and this is the load resistance RL and um, we'll now uh, say what happens that what I'm going to do is I have to convert the first half of the uh, AC to the DC so you have the AC signal like this the second half I'm draw drawing it as in green now I'm going to this is an input so I have measured the input uh, voltage here input voltage and let me this is with respect to time and let me um, draw the waveform or just the axis so that you can understand in later so output so this output I will be measuring across my load terminals RL so V0 is measured across this and here what is that is my condition is like I have to maintain or I have to provide a DC supply to a that load. So it means that I have to always keep my A terminal the higher and I have to keep my B terminal in the lower level. So that is the meaning that it should not change. So the ultimate objective is like whatever happens because you already know during the first off cycle uh, this AC input you will have the phase here and the neutral here and then the second off cycle your neutral will become here come here and your phase will become or uh, phase will come here so it means what well, during the first off cycle my current in the transformer uh, primary side will be like this and the, during the second off cycle the current reverses here so the current is reversing in for each and every cycle that you can know so until until here until the input here also the secondary side of the sample this is a primary side of the transformer and this is a secondary side so this is a secondary side of the cycle this is the primary side and even in the secondary side of the transformer during the first half cycle the current will be trying to come in this direction so you will keep the same and during the second half cycle the current because a phase phase is here since a phase in the uh, is in this region so it will come in this direction it will go by this direction okay now if I want a half wave cycle where I need any one of the half of the input to be converted to a DC okay so let me choose my first um, my first half cycle to be converted so I am allowing now what I am doing is I am using a device that will allow any one of the direction here so if I want to use any one of the direction so I am using a diode let me take the diode is the best example so I will take my diode I will con connect my diode like this such that what happens is this terminal is anode and this terminal is cathode so what happens now during the first off cycle my current which the AC in the input side will will have it means that the A uh, anode is kept on the higher terminal and uh, cathode is kept in the lower terminal so what happens my current will flow my current will flow the current will flow that current will move from a to b crossing this load it will move from a to b so during this time period of current the voltage 
is applied across the load and your first stops during this first stop cycle is conducting is kind of you're getting an output during the first stop cycle your diode d is conducting is conducted this also takes place from is also measured from 0 to pi so this is also 0 to pi during the second off cycle what happens is your phase is interchanged phase and neutrals are interchanged here so the current direction is reversed in the primary side of the transformer even in the secondary side of the transformer current is now coming in this direction it's moving in this direction trying to come in this direction but what happens is your diode is reversed by us you know current the current cannot be accepted in this direction because you cannot keep your cathode in the higher terminal and anode in the what negative i mean or the lower terminal so there is no conduction the conduction will not take place since there is no current no conduction so what happens is during the third second off cycle your current or the voltage will become zero from pi to 2 pi so from pi to 2 pi the current is zero there is no conduction or the output voltage does not appear in the uh, or input voltage does not go or appear for the uh, output voltage or in terms I can say there is no output voltage so here now the first cycle is over during the second cycle it repeats the same so as I repeat the same during the next cycle your positive half cycle is again utilized I will extend my axis I'll extend my axis and I'll further show you how does it work. So during the second off cycle, sorry, sorry, so during the second cycle of the first and the first off second, you will have again the conduction coming. Then again it falls to zero for the negative half cycle. Okay. Then again, again it starts conduct. Now you can see from the graph your direction of this current that is for all this your diode is forward biased at this region your diode is reverse biased that's why it is not conducting again it is forward biased again it is reverse biased and forward biased you can see the current the magnitude of the current the magnitude of the current is same and it is always in some the at least one positive value so the direction of the current is always it becomes unidirectional Unidirectional. So the current is now from this bidirectional. From this bidirectional. Even in the second off cycle, there is an input. The second off cycle, there is an input which is in AC, but it is in the reverse direction. And just because it's in the reverse direction, the diode cannot be able to conduct because in the reverse bias condition, the diode cannot conduct. Okay. So this is how your uh, working of your half wave rectifier takes place okay so in the half wave rectifier you have very few advantages like uh, you can say like letting light down advantages the first thing is the circuit is simple the circuit is simple and the cost is less cost is less but the major disadvantage major disadvantages the re rectification efficiency that is the efficiency uh, the rectification efficiency is lower than 40.6 percentage the efficiency see the efficiency is very less you will you will understand when i calculate when derivate you and show you what is the efficiency you will understand why it is very less and then uh, if you see the another disadvantage is how it produces some ripple ripple means disturbance it will have the uh, ripple is high the disturbance will be high because you can see in this diagram there is some voltage and there is no voltage and voltage is there and then no voltage so if i connect any load like for example if i'm connecting a bulb so if i'm connecting a bulb uh, so instead here if i'm going to connect a bulb here instead of this resistance what happens the bulb will glow that is the bulb will be on at this time period and during the second off it will be off then again on and again off 
it will happen very frequently it means within 10 milliseconds for each 10 milliseconds it will on and off on and off so what is that there is a disturbance you cannot you will have a flickering kind of an output so the ripple is very high and um, if I, when you use a transformer the transformer utilization factor uh, we call it as transformer utilization factor is low the utilization of the transformer is very low and uh, it, will, it will make the transformer transformer to reach saturation so uh, this uh, half wave rectifier be commonly used at very specific requirement only okay? so uh, very specific requirement so uh, let us understand so you will uh, in the next lecture you will see about the derivation how i am deriving the output output voltage what will be the value of the output voltage output current the various uh, various parameters that is required for the uh, half wave rectifier okay